Hello, CFI. Greg Orr here. Uh, just wanted to say hello. Uh, insider video coming to you this week. And uh, got a special guest this week, as we always do, but uh, a very special guest. As you can tell, we're very wearing special. the same colors. <laughs> um, Melinda Green, she's our VP of Finance. And she has been with us, what now? Since April of last year. Since April of last mm -hmm. year. So just coming up on a year. So, Melinda, tell us a little bit about your background and history and what you've done throughout your career. Yeah, absolutely. So, as Greg mentioned, um, I've actually started with the CFI family in April. So, as he said, coming on my year. And uh, I have to tell you that as excited as I was whenever you called me with the offer, my husband was over the moon. So, he is an owner-operator, so he's very familiar with the CFI history and the reputation. So, he was more than excited. So, as soon as I got the call, he started packing our bags for the move to Joplin. So, but um, I know you asked us about my background. Yep. So. I actually started my career, and I'll tell you, I'm probably a little bit different than most other people within the CFI family. Yep. My background's a little bit more diverse in what industries I've worked in. So I started in school bus transportation, and from there I spent 12 years at Sprint in telecommunications. And uh, after that, I thought, let's tr give retail a try. So I moved to Bentonville, Arkansas, and worked at Walmart, and then to JCPenney. So for the next 10 years, I was in retail, and then I landed at CFI. Well, welcome. We're glad you're here. Thank you. So, give us an, an idea of your responsibility. What all falls underneath your responsibility, and what are those functions for our drivers so they understand how they benefit them? Sure. I'm actually very fortunate to have a diverse uh, responsibility, so a lot of departments that fall underneath my responsibility. One is billing. And this is definitely an area where we require a lot, or rely a lot on our drivers uh, because we have to get their proof of delivery after they've delivered a load so we can get our customers billed on time. Uh, other areas that uh, roll up underneath me are AP, so accounts payable and accounts receivable. I also have general ledger. And with our general ledger department, they're really responsible for any type of like financial analytics getting our financial statements prepared, and they work closely with TFI, our parent company. I also have driver services that's across the parking lot. I have the company store. And then I think I have probably everyone's favorite department, payroll. Yes, so let's talk payroll. So being the end of the year, there's a lot of things happening, not only in our payroll function, but that our professional drivers and employees are looking for. Uh, which is W-2s, right? So Absolutely right. what is the scoop on W-2s and how do we get better visibility to those, whether it's mail or whether it's going online and getting that? How do we do all that kind of stuff? Absolutely, yes. It's definitely a busy time for the payroll department. We will be having the W-2s ready and mailed by January 31st. They will be mailed to whatever mailing address that our drivers okay. have within ADP. If they do not have a mailing address, it will go to their home address but they can also download the statements from their driver dashboard. So I'd like to spend a few moments in kind of walking them through yep. on where they can download it. So if they're on the road and, and don't have time to get home to get their W-2s, then I can tell them how they can go do that. Yeah, absolutely. Let's so they will get into their, their driver dashboard, and once they're in their driver dashboard on the upper left-hand corner, they will see a menu. You will click on the drop-down menu, and you'll go to the employee portal. Once you get to the employee portal, here is where you will go to your pay and then when you click on your pay there will be another box within that window that's called tax statements so you go there you will click on whatever tax year you would like to have your w-2 and then there's a button that says download statement okay. so once you download it then they can easily get it their soft copy good okay the other thing that i might call out this year for some of our drivers they will see a new earnings code on their w-2 yep. So we had offered a new program called the per diem program that was to help our drivers with saving some taxes because they, of the new tax law changes. So in box 12 on their W-2, they're going to see a current earnings code L, and that's your per diem pay. Okay. So if you elected that, that's where you would see that, and that should be your, your tax-free money that you received. And I would say, if as you're meeting with your tax preparers this year, Please make sure you ask them if this is a program that will benefit you in 19, because okay. it is for our drivers. So let's talk per diem for a second. You and I both have an opinion on per diem as to whether it's beneficial. And I think being your driver's a husband, 
or mm -hmm. your, your husband is a driver, I'm sorry. Um, <laughs> he's not tied directly to a company today, That's correct? Right. He's running independent. That's right. But when he has been tied to a company, he's utilized the per diem function, right? Yes. And, and I think it's important to know, is especially as our, our professional drivers are out there, um, this is a service that we provide for you folks. And I think more importantly to understand that um, everything that we understand about this program is, is that you will not be able to go back and try to collect those dollars based off of filing on your own anymore. It has to be done via a company now. Is that correct? Absolutely. Yes. Is there and more details that I'm missing there? No, but it's very important because it is money that they're going to be leaving on the table yeah. uh, if they don't elect this because they cannot do it on their own anymore. And it's how much per day? Like $63. $63 a day. So yes. that's, I mean, you think about that if you're out even 200 days a year, I mean, that's that's a pretty big chunk of change that can come right off of your tax break. So yes. um, definitely would encourage each one of you to take a look at that one. Um, so let's go back. I know in some of your responsibilities you was talking about all the different functions and, and another one that I think is important not only for our drivers but obviously from a business perspective making sure that we're collecting our money and getting paid timely. Let's talk about proof of deliveries and why is that important to not only our drivers but to our company. Yes, and as I had mentioned, the billing department actually will take the proof of deliveries and that's what they use in order to invoice our customers after a load is delivered. Our expectation is that we get that paperwork within 24 hours after a load has been delivered. Right now, only approximately 45% of our drivers are meeting that deadline. So mm. we've set up a, a policy now this year to where we contact our fleet managers for any loads and drivers that were still waiting on paperwork that they contact them so we can get that in. So because as you know we have some customers that will not pay us if we do not have that proof of delivery. So it's lost revenue Absolutely. if we do not get it. And that's the key I think for everybody to understand is, is listen we're not trying to be pains in the neck here to get you to turn paperwork in. It's important for us to be able to do that because ultimately the longer that we draw out our cash flow the, the, the worse it becomes for, um, for, for us financially financially and and we're leveraging our parent company TFI in some cases if we're if we're allowing that to drag on so uh, in worst case if we get situations where we don't get proof of delivery and it's a requirement um, we can end up not getting paid period and we've had some instances where we've written yes, off we some have. dollars this year which yes. is not good obviously so anything else you want to add to that piece no I think that's it I appreciate everything you do and I only want to say though that if my husband stops you at a truck stop um, and he sees CFI drivers, he runs to them to tell you that his wife works at CFI. So I apologize now if you've been accosted. <laughs> <laughs> He's a good man. He's a good man. Uh, anyways, well, folks, hey, we appreciate everything you do for us. Again, hopefully um, some good information here, as we always like to try to share good new information that you haven't been exposed to before, uh, a complete different department than we've uh, brought to the table before. So anyways, uh, we appreciate Melinda being here, and, and more importantly, folks, we appreciate what you do for us. Thanks. Have a great week and be safe out there. Have a good Thank one. You.